Hey everyone, welcome back to Web Squadron. We are going to solve a problem someone asked in Facebook Elemental Group. So over here we have a image and what he wanted to do was how can he create this header over here and you can see it's got a, a title and then it's got like this like a uh, diagonal slash and you got blue and a bit of grey over there. And some of the solutions being offered to him were to use some CSS coding or maybe a plugin or something. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, they're all good. But I want to show you a way of how you can do it without any CSS coding and just using what's available within Elementor. You can even do this in the Elementor free version. So let's just have a look at it. Let's just pop this down here. What I'm going to do very quickly is just add in a section. Simple section, nothing fancy there, okay? I'm then going to add in a header, like so. And I'm just going to call it, so what did he have on there? Let's just recreate it. Add society. So let's write society. There we go. And we're going to give it a white font for now, okay? And I'm just going to increase the size ever so slightly and make it just a little bit bold. You can't see it because it's white at the moment. Okay, cool. What I'm then going to do is add in just a little bit of padding as well along the top. So I'm just going to say about 10 on the top and about 10 on the bottom. Again, I'm, I'm not completely going to mirror what they have here. I just want to show you how we're going to get about it. So we've got some text in there. Now we need to create that gradient slash. Oh, I've given away what we're doing. We're doing a gradient. We're going to do a slash. But if you go to the style of the heading, okay, if we go to gradient, I'm going to set the color of this to be, um, let's go for that kind of murky, darkish color. Obviously, you know, I'm not getting the exact color because I'm just showing you how to do it. So we got that. And in the bottom one, I'm just going to pick a gray color. We'll go for one of my gray colors, F3, F3, F3. And we have this effect. If I now turn the angle of this to be something like so, the blue's more on uh, that side and we've got more of the gray on the other side. But it looks nothing like what we're trying to achieve. However, if I do 50 and 50, da da, we have the pattern. But what if I now change the top one to be a 10 and the bottom one to be a... This is where your brain goes, hold on, 50, 50 adds up to 100. 10 and 90, surely. But look, look what happens when I do 10 and 90. It's a gradient. Let's do 10 and 10. Whoa, dude, this is magnificent. And I'm just going to increase it now to be about, I don't know, let's just go with uh, about 16 and 16. Let's get that image up. And what I'm going to do is it's about roughly something like that. If I go back over here, let me now just change the angle to be something like, roughly like that. And I'm just going to drop this down to be about, let's go for 10. Bit of trial and error never hurt anyone, hey? And there we go, 10. Now look, I know this is not exactly like that. Because I haven't got the sizes of the section correct or anything like that. But there you go. Dead, dead simple. We have created the effect. And to finish it off, Let's go to the border and we are going to go to the border of the section. We're going to have a solid border and we are going to say that it's a zero, 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 but the top is about two, maybe a three. And I should have got the color of that blue actually, but I'm now just going to pick something similar-ish like so, whatever. And oops, there you go, sorry. So the obvious problem is that when you have it on a section, Obviously, as you move, as the, you know, when you're looking at it on a screen, responsive mode and all of that kicks in, the section kind of widens. So the solution I've given you could work if you had, say, a full screen width, for instance, like so. So say a full width. It, it possibly could work for you. But if you haven't got a full width, doing it on a section isn't the best idea. What you really want to do is I'm just going to add in another section. OK. I'm just going to copy this text over and put the text into here. So again, we've got that society text. What you really want to do is rather than doing it in the section, what you want to do is do it on the column. So we go to style, we go to gradient. Again, we're just going to pick a uh, bluey color. Let's just go for something like that. And we're going to go for the gray color down here. Uh, again, we will just go for, let's just go for 16 and 16. And then we'll change the angle. Again, I'm not doing it perfectly. You would modify it, whatever. Um, and again, you will add your top border. Let's just do it while we're here, you know, because I am a bit of perfectionist, actually. So let's just add a top of, let's give it a four. And again, let's just go with a blue color. There we go, right? Now, 
when I do that like that, it works fine because now it is fixing within that set um, within that layout. And if we go to the preview, that's kind of what we had here. I mean, I'm not too sure if that was a full width or just how the screenshot looked at the time. But if you do it within the column, you can have it perfectly. And what you could do then is you could do something quite funky where you know you might say, well, I want it like that, but I want the rest of the left side to be blue. Well, you could go back to the section. Go back to the style and as long as you pick exactly the same color and i can't remember what the color was so i'm just going to pick any color there um sorry no gradient in fact no let's get the color let's get the color let's make it perfect right let's just get that color which was there let's go back to the section make sure it's a gradient make sure we've got the same color make sure we've got the same gray for the second half okay and I'm going to leave it as a 180. I think it's 180. We'll just do 50 and a 50. And if I do that, note that's wrong. It should be 90. So let's just change it to a 90. Is that the right one? 90, 90. There we go. So now it's going. I mean, obviously, it's not going all the way across because, again, my column. But again, I just want to get across to you how you can achieve that slash um, within your section or your column. And your border to kind of eventually get to this kind of look. Obviously, you're going to size it accordingly, but I hope that helps. You know, like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.